The Nook Glow Light 4, Apple AirPods Pro 2s, and we've got some great new Samsung display technology to talk about, and a crazy Apple rumor. Welcome back to Weekly Waste of Time. Welcome back to Weekly Waste of Time. My name is Jeff Landsman, and Happy New Year. Happy 22. I'm drinking a little nitro crazy thing with a shot of espresso in it. It's Friday. Let's go crazy. I love my local Starbucks. Love them. Love them. Uh, it, the hours have changed because of the pandemic, and I get it. They're short-staffed and, and so forth. But uh, I, I was thinking from a business standpoint, because I run my own business here, Phase 6 Productions, and go, well, well, how do they keep the business going if they're only open half the time? And the answer is charge $8.72 for a drink <laughs> instead of 5 If you If you charge a little more for every – a lot more for everything – you can keep going and work half the time. Now, the way I have to offset it now is instead of going three, four times a week, I go once. So today is my little treat, and I hope you guys are having a great day today. Let's talk about the Nook Glow Light 4. I am so disappointed about this device. I was really looking forward to this, and I have to tell you, it's not great. It's not great, people. It's We've got a 32 gigabyte on boards of storage, which is, that's good. It's not water resistant. Uh, it's, the screen is recessed. It's not flush like most of the other e-readers out there. And it looks like it was manufactured in 2017. I, I don't understand what's going on. The bezels are pretty wide. The nice thing is you have buttons on the side, which are really like, it's, it's a nice soft touch device, but let me know in the comments below if you want me to pick one up and do a full review of this device. I'm just judging it based on all the information I'm seeing online. But if you want me to actually review it or compare it to a paper write, I, I, I would love to hear from you in the comments below. So write me, say, yeah, 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 go, 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 go buy it. And then I want you to suffer through it to let us know if we should get one. Because maybe I'll be surprised. Okay, let's move on to the Apple AirPods Pro Twos. Oh, wait, I didn't know those came out. Well, what are those? I, I, I want them. They're AirPods, right? So then they're pros. So what? Okay, this is rumors right now. But, you know, it's long overdue. We're ready for AirPods Pros 2. We have the AirPods 3s. We've now got the Beats Fit Pros, which are my personal favorites. Uh, like and subscribe. I, it's so weird when people say that on these. You know, don't like. It's a waste. This show's a waste of time, and don't subscribe. But if you want to check out one of my other shows, I did a whole show on the Beats Fit Pro 2s, and I think you'll see why those are the best AirPods right now. <clears throat> Having said that, the AirPods Pro 2s are rumored to come out in the third quarter of this year. Now, it could happen sooner. This is all rumor. What's the big fanciness about the AirPods Pro 2s? Jeff, what is it? Okay, get ready for this. Get ready. Are you ready? Lossless audio. <gasps> oh, that's great because when I'm listening in these little tiny things, I, I can hear it's kind of, it's not so, it's a little compressed. Really? Can you really tell? <laughs> I don't, I think this is going to be a gimmick, everyone. Like, listen. If you're listening to lossless audio in, in in cans, like you know, headphones that go above your ear. I have a pair of Sony ones right here. These are cheap. these are the XM3s. Oh, 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 yes. I love these. Love them. Um, they're not my only pair of over-the-ear headphones. I also own the AirPods Max uh, headphones. Those are at home. So. If you were going to be listening to music on headphones like those and wired in, uh, you can listen to Lossless right now. But you just can't listen over Bluetooth currently. There's no, well, as far as I know, not on the Apple product line, maybe on other product lines. So this is the big twist. Ooh, and the AirPods Pro 2s are going to have lossless audio, and they may or may not have stems. What does that mean? You know the little little stems that stick down they may be gone okay great listen if they sound as good as the beats fit pros then now i'm now i'm interested but i i gotta tell you like the uh, the beats fit pros i'm listening to lossless now i know it's not lossless over bluetooth but 
it sounds, they sound incredible for earbuds. They sound amazing. So I think this is a gimmick. I don't think that most people are going to be able to tell the difference between lossless audio and slightly compressed because it's Bluetooth audio. I just don't, I don't think it's going to matter, but <clears throat> it is what it is. Okay. Uh, we are going to talk about the Samsung Freestyle Projector. This thing is insane. It was announced at CES this week, and I'm kind of excited about m to maybe get one of these things. I have a an old projector that I use in the backyard that's, I think it's only 720p. It might be 1080. But, you know, we use it to watch movies, and it looks very good. It's fine. Uh, but this is a new projector that can create a 100-inch picture. Oh well, yeah. Now they go bigger than that, but a sharp 100 inch picture. But if you're watching the video right now, and I know you are, unless you're listening to the podcast, uh, you can see, you can throw the picture from an angle and it will adjust it for you. And you're looking at this right now, unless you're listening. And if you're listening to the podcast, uh, basically when you are shooting a video at an angle, it's skewed, right? Like the picture is skewed. Well, Samsung's got some new technology where they're analyzing the wall that you're projecting on or the screen, and they're adjusting that skew to look straight. This is kind of a big deal because as of now, you could do that, but you do spend a lot of time in the settings sort of adjusting and you can never get it quite right uh, unless you're throwing the picture directly at the screen. So, I'm excited about this thing. It's $900. Is that a lot for a projector? Yeah, it is. But it's got a really good sound system built into it. Allegedly, I haven't heard it in person, but it's got speakers built into it. And so there's something to be said for, oh, I, I, I start watching movies outside on the big screen and I've got my sound system built in. I've got my projector built in and it's got a bunch of apps built in so you don't need to connect an apple tv or roku or a you know google some sort of google play device to it you have an all-in-one 900 movie theater for outside so for that reason i wanted to talk about it okay let's get right into the apple rumor that i teased at the top what is it what is it What are you doing, Jeff? What, what's going on? I'm, t I'm trying to give you a hint. It's glasses. It's Apple glasses. Okay, I, I've heard that Apple's going to do like a VR thing, like AR, VR. Okay, well, if you haven't heard, Apple's going to do a VR slash AR something, and it's apparently getting close, and we may, may even see it this year. Now, let's talk about what this means. Well, Apple is sort of taking a different approach than most other companies like Oculus. Oculus is like, welcome to the metaverse where you could escape reality and never have to deal with real people again in person, which in some ways is really kind of an exciting proposition. <laughs> in other ways, let's get over this pandemic and see each other again. Okay. Uh, Apple is looking at it a little differently. They're like, well, no, no. I mean, yes, we'll go. You can get away. But also, wouldn't it be great to not have a phone anymore? Oh, yeah. And no. So now, <clears throat> when I'm with people and they start doing this, hey, good to see you. Yeah. So, um, uh huh. Yeah. Oh, that, that's, oh, totally. What? I, I, I hate it. I put this away. I put it away. When I see people, it goes away. It doesn't go face down on the table, it goes in the pocket. It's just me and that person. You get undivided attention. And the people that I really care about do the same. And when I'm with people that aren't doing it, I either call them out or I go, hmm, I'm not going to see that person again for a while. So Apple Glasses will sort of like, what if there was your screen was in front of you? What if you could just, you know, it was just sort of floating in front of you? I don't know. This is all rumor, but that's sort of AR technology. And the big rumor is that it's going to have three screens. One, two, what? 
<laughs> so I don't know what that means. <clears throat> it's something I read yesterday. It could be exciting. It could be atrocious. Who knows? But that is the show. My name is Jeff Landsman. If you want to reach me, it's twitter.com slash Jeff Landsman. If you want to like and so don't, don't, don't like and do not, do not subscribe. This is a waste of time and you know it. You know it. Thank you.